Yo, it's Trump. Oban's having a good day, good week. Mondays suck, it's nasty outside, but we got a good one. We got old lady hit and run story time. Now, this is back when I worked at Jimmy John's, actually. When when I had my life, like, together, I was doing good. Girlfriend, job, school, it, it was all good, right? And so, I, I can't remember what I was doing exactly on this day, but I know for sure I was working, right? And what I would do is, normally, I would get off work before the girl I was with at the time, like, she would get off work late, usually, right? So I'd get off, let's say, 8 p.m., she'd get off, like, 10 p.m. But then I want to hang out. But what am I going to do for two hours, you know? I can go home, shower, whatever, but then, you know, I'm just sitting there bored. So, sometimes I would go out and get food. Sometimes I'd go to the store, because, you know, I had a little more money then. I was working, so I was like, whatever. I'll just go spend it, I guess. I, I always sucked at saving, dude. Just till like a year and a half ago. I was absolutely terrible. I could not save for shit, right? So um, the girl I was with was working at a Target. So I show up to Target. And I'm like, yo, I'm going to go in there and get a drink. And then I'll just chill in my car and wait till wait till I can see her, right? So I pull up there and I'm sitting there. I went in and got my drink. And I'm sitting near a front spot, probably like the third spot from the front. And then there's like two or three handicap spots, right? And so I'm sitting there and I'm literally just chilling, like fat chilling. I got the music on. I'm smoking my cart or not smoking. I'm hitting my cart, right? Hitting my fiend. And I got my drink. Life was perfect, right? And I'm waiting for a girl and I have to wait like, I don't know, like I said, 40 minutes, an hour. I don't know. But it was a little while. So I'm sitting there fat chilling. And this lady starts to pull in, right? This big old, uh, I don't know what kind of car it was. I think it might've been a Jeep, but it wasn't one of the small Jeeps with like the tire on the back. Well, I guess all Jeeps have the tire on the back, don't they? But it was one of the bigger Jeeps, you know, with the not neon lights, but it, the ones with the doors. That's all I have to say, right? Jeep with the doors, bigger Jeep, not lifted, but just square and big, not like the smaller one. So she pulls in, and when she pulled in, she was completely fine, right? And I looked at her getting out. It was a real old lady, and I would have said elderly if she didn't do something wrong, but she she hit a car, so we're calling her an old lady for this story. So I'm sitting there. I don't know what she had to go shopping for. Obviously, I don't know her, but she goes in there. She shops for like 20 minutes, right? I don't know why I was thinking about the time of that. I probably wasn't, but it sounds about right, 20 minutes, right? And I'm sitting there, and I noticed her getting in because when she parked, she parked, like, in the line. She did good. She was just close to my car. I thought she was going to ding the door with her door, right? But, like, for one, I'm not going to get mad an old lady if she happened to do that. And two, like, I don't know. Yeah, I feel like when people do that, it's usually 99% an accident. No one really just slams their door into someone else's car, so it's not... Like, you shouldn't get that mad, but unless it leaves like a dent or scratch. But anyways, anyways, that doesn't matter. I'm sitting there and she starts pulling out, right? And everybody does this. Everybody starts their car and kind of sits there a minute, whether you're looking at your phone or getting situated or getting your phone out. For me, right, I get in my car, I start it. Then, like, I have everything in my pockets, right? I got to take my wallet out, put it in the cup holder. I got to grab my nicotine. I got to grab my phone, get the music ready. Like, things need to happen first, right? I'm sure that's what she was doing, too. But when she went to go out, there was a car in front of her, right? So she had to reverse out. But she started going forward, dude. And she inched up like six inches. And in my head, I wanted to like yell out from my car. I wanted to be like, stop, you're going to roll into the car. That's exactly what she did. She just rolled into it, right? Not hard, but... The fact that she didn't break, the fact that she let the car roll into it for a second, the alarm started going off, right? So she rolls into it and she rolls into it for a second, right? Like she hit it and it barely hit it, but then she kept moving. So the cars were like, you know, like this. And all of a sudden you're beep, 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 beep. And I looked to my right and I thought for sure she was going to look at me and then either like stop and get out because I don't know when I think of hit and runs and I know I've had stories in the past where I've done things like that. Um, I don't know. I just always assume it's a younger person doing that, that crime. You know, I would never see an old person doing a hit and run or I would never think about it. Right. I guess I did see it. I would never think about it though. Right. She goes into this car. It goes beep, 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 beep. Then she pulls out, right. She pulls out, like whips out fast and just takes off. Right. And I was astounded. I was sitting there like, there's no way 
that this lady just did that, right? Because, like, she wasn't, like, 40 or 50. I'm not saying, when I say old lady, I'm not being, like, rude and saying it. Not just anyone older than me. This was a genuine, she had to be between 80 and 90 years old. Like, she was, like, a president's age, you know? She was up there. And she nailed that, not nailed it, but she went, rolled into that car, made the alarm go off. And she just dipped. She just whipped out of there like she she was moving so slow this whole time the moment she hit that car she went reverse i guarantee you she didn't check to see if anybody was coming there could have been a family behind her she would have hit them right and she just whipped that jeep and the jeep's like square so she just whipped that thing right out and just took off right and i remember i was watching the whole time and i could have said something i could have waited for the person to come out whoever's car that was tell them what happened but I didn't, right? I sat there just like, what the fuck did I just see? And I FaceTimed my friend who I don't think was working either way. I had to tell him what was going on. I was like, that was insane, right? And I ended up just sitting there for like however much longer, waited for the girl, hung out with her. It was all good, right? But I told everybody about that. I told her about that. I told my friend about that. When I got home, I told my mom about that. I told my little sister about that. I was telling all these people about it because it was like, I know when you're just... Like, if I'm sitting here talking about it, if you're envisioning it in your head like I just was, I guess rolling into someone isn't that cool, but, like, it wasn't like, oh, it wasn't like a genuine crash, but it was hilarious, dude, because I'm sitting there, and you're just not expecting that. You really aren't, like, elderly lady, old lady, whatever you want to say, like, I wasn't trying to be rude, but she did break the law here. She looked like... I don't know, genuine. Like, she didn't look like she would ever commit a crime, let alone a hit and run. And what if that's someone's grandma, dude? What if someone's going to Thanksgiving or Christmas or birthday or whatever, and they see their grandma, they're like, oh, hi, grandma. They're giving their grandma a hug. Maybe the grandma sneaks the kids money, whatever. But she knows in her head, hey, I had a hit and run. And those kids have no idea. They're like, this is the sweetest lady ever. And she's like, I've been in a few of them. Like, who knows? What if that's not her first time? What if she's done that like 10 times in her life? We don't know, but old lady hit and run story time. There you go. But what can I say? I probably would have done the same thing. Now, anyways, you shouldn't do that, but I probably would have. But thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, if you enjoyed, sub. If not, don't worry about it. You know, how would I even know? I would have no idea. Um... But yeah, thanks for watching. If you ever need anything, you can comment. I'll do my best to answer. You can DM me if you need something more personal, you know, like you're going through something, I'll answer. I got your back. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Be safe and peace out.